Hey guys, uh, today I ran across some parts from somebody parting out a uh, ram just like mine. Um, if you've noticed before, my truck has the basic cluster with the three and a half inch screen on it. I got lucky and found the uh, premium seven inch EVIC cluster and picked it up picked it up at a pretty good price so today we're gonna go ahead and remove my cluster and install this cluster and we're gonna do the mileage correction for it so that everything works properly the way it should to start out with we are going to remove the screws up here and then I'm both the cluster to remove it so okay so I removed the four screws that was up there and just pull out on it there's a clip on this side clip on this side and there it is I'll just set it up on the dash there you go now we'll pull these uh, seven millimeter bolts out and swap out the cluster okay so now I pulled the two bolts loose on the bottom of the cluster and now it just kind of fell. So let's just tip it forward and clear the top. And we'll just set it out. A little bit difficult doing this with one hand. But I'm going to reach in right back here, and there's a harness right there. Should be able to get it out and do it. Now with it tilted, I was able to slide it back into that slot behind where it bolts, and reach in up through here to the top, and unclip that harness. So now, I'm going to remove this cluster and set the other one in and hook it up. Now as you can see with the new cluster, it plugged right in. Let's set it in place and bolt it in. Let's see if I can... There we go. Now I've got that sitting in, and then take and set this side in, just like so. So it sits on the little pins on that side, and on this side. So both sides are on pins. Now I can put the seven millimeter bolts back in. Okay, now I got the seven millimeter bolts put back in and tightened up. It makes a big difference so far. Now we're going to take and install the cluster bezel, the cover that goes around it, and then we'll reprogram the mileage to correct it. Alright, now the moment of truth. Let's turn it on. Let's see what happens. And it's showing my oil life being bad which I knew that, temperature's cold, everything is showing correct, except for the backup light showing out. Let me go in and see if I can see that in my messages. I think that's cool how it shows my air suspension tire pressure oh that is cool I like the way the fuel economy is set up that's set up oh this is so much cooler than the other one 
Shows my trailer brakes. Shows what I'm listening to. And then the messages. I don't know why it would show the backup light out. I'll deal with that later. But I do got LEDs in the truck, but I did program it for LEDs on the Alpha OBD. So let's correct the uh, mileage real quick, and then we'll go from there. So let's see. Oh, hold on. Upper left, range to empty, upper right, miles per gallon, lower left, oh. huh, oh yeah, I do, uh, I do like the way this is set up. Just playing with things right now. Alright. Well. Let's get this mileage corrected. Let me get my... Uh, OBD link plugged in and let's do this. Okay, so now I got my dongle plugged in and uh, let's connect. Once it connects, there, now we're connected. Let's go to instrument panel. And my truck's 2014. This is a cluster out of a 2016. So we'll do 2013 plus. Connect. Now it shows it's connected. Let's go up here to procedure to start. And we'll go all the way down here to the bottom where it says odometer correction. Now, does anybody remember what my odometer said? In the video, it said 160.403 or 162.403. I got to look real quick and then we'll do it. Alright, so I looked it was 163.403. So, we're not liars here, so... Granted, people can take advantage of the situation and manipulate the value of their vehicles with this. I'm not trying to do that. My other cluster said this exact same mileage, and that's what I'm doing. I'm correcting my mileage specifically to what it was. So let's go to start. Oh. we got to go here and click premium cluster 7 inch okay and then now turn key off 30 seconds click ok we're at I'm looking at the time on the video So,
And there, the gauge cluster just lit. The, it was lit up, now it went dark. Now it says procedure completed. Turn key to off to clear the uh, sleep. Okay, so let's click OK. Let's see if it took already. And now I'm looking up here at this cluster, 163.403. Now it's been corrected to my truck. So, speaking of this backup light, I just had to work on another guy's truck just recently because it said backup light out. Let me go in and change. Let's go back out of the cluster. And I'm beginning to wonder if it's something in the premium clusters. So let's go in the body computer control unit. 2014 let's connect let me make sure that all of my lights are connected are showing that they are all uh, all LEDs so that it'll quit showing that but y'all don't have to see that now y'all have seen you know that that's how you change the cluster that's how you program it and now here we are at this point now so if you got any questions just shoot me a message and ask unlike other people i'm not going to be like a dick and ignore you and, and or i'm not going to leave the video being quiet you know so that way you know you're having to guess at a lot of things well i didn't want you to guess just remember uh t20 screws for the uh cover around it and seven millimeter bolts holds it in place all right, until the next video. Just to touch base, after I got done, I ended up doing a scan to read all the faults for the uh, instrument cluster. And it showed where there had been a fault previously in the past when I put the LED bulbs in and then changed it over. Well, it didn't show the bulb out after changing it in the Alpha OBD to the bulb being an LED, but it stored it as an error and uh, or as a fault in the body computer so after i cleared the faults it did in turn clear the uh, message on the screen saying that the backup light was out so now i have no more messages on there other than the only message i have is i need to change my old so i wanted to also throw that in so for people that are seeing that you know that will be why and then once you go in and delete the fault click clear all faults it'll go away so that way it'll just be nice clean cluster you know without error messages popping up so good luck to you i like the way mine looks and i know you will too so good luck